all of you welcome back to course of computing so we have started a new topic of unsupervised learning we understand uh, what is the concept of unsupervised learning how unsupervised learning is different from supervised learning now in this video we are going to discuss about the uh, one of the unsupervised learning mechanism that is computative learning network so as its name suggest competitive learning so what is competitive learning network okay or you can say competitive learning see in order to demonstrate the concept of competitive learning i will give a simple real life example let's take a consider a particular class where a group of student is being taught by single teacher okay the single teacher is teaching uh, multiple students or you can say that uh, just take a simple example uh, just that um, Uh, you are the second year students or for let's say third year students and uh, four to five teachers are teaching to all the students okay means uh, there are total five subjects are there and uh, five teachers are teaching this five subject to a group of student let's say 70 students are there and total five teachers are there for five subject so this five uh, five teacher is teaching to all the 70 students so same input is given by uh all these five teacher to all the students means it is not a case that uh, the teacher is giving a uh, different input to particular student and different to another student this thing should not be there a teacher is teaching the same concept to all the student present in the class but in this case when there was a exam only one student will be the topper that means what we understand that uh, in that teacher is giving same input to all teachers but in that case there will be a student there will be only one student who is a topper in the class okay so from this uh, try to correlate the concept of competitive learning can we say that it's a competitive learning because in this case we can say that the, all the 70 students are competing with each other to learn and excels in the exam and only one student can able to excel uh, in the exam or we can say he is a topper in the exam so what he has does he got the same input uh, miss he got the same input as that of 70 student but still he is a can able to uh, get excel in the exam get stopper in the exam so in that case what will be the possible reason for that maybe the case that the learning ability of the student is more uh, then he has paid more attention in the class or maybe uh, he is not dependent only on the uh, te teacher teaching in the class but he is referring the another resources he is uh, referring different books different videos make use of internet to understand the concept so some extra thing is to be done by that student that means all the 70 students are competing with each other they are getting the same input but still they need to put efforts in order to excel in order to get perform better as compared to other student in the class so we can say that this is what a competitive learning where a group of student is competing with each other to get topper in the exam and who is all the students are getting the same input so similar to that there is a competitive learning network so it's a kind of network or you can say it's a form of unsupervised learning in which nodes the output nodes are compete with each other uh, in order to get activate or in order to get selected so we can say that uh, competitive learning is a one of the variation of habian learning so in case of habian learning uh, multiple nodes are activated at the same time but this is not a case in case of competitive learning in case of competitive learning only one output node gets activated at the same time this thing should not be there suppose in my uh, output layer because we understand already the structure of artificial neural network which consists of input layer uh, hidden layer and the output layer and in the output layer you may have n number of neurons so in this case only in case of competitive learning only one output node or only one neuron in the output layer gets activated at the same time but in case of habian learning uh, there may be the possibility that multiple nodes get activated at the same time so we are saying that competitive learning is somehow the variation of a habian learning and this competitive learning works by increasing the specialization of each node in the network i just taken the example that the one student 
student is topper why is topper because he has put a lot of extra efforts into that he is not only depending upon uh, the teaching uh, which is done by the teacher miss uh, he is not, not only he is uh, not only uh, depend on on the resources material shared by teacher but by its own that teacher is referring another video another material uh, he is using internet different books miss he is taking some extra efforts to get specialized and to get topper in the exam so in the same way in case of competitive learning and number of nodes are there in the output layer so that every node will compete with each other every node try to increase its speciality to gets activated and uh, activation is very important because uh, between input layer and the output layer uh, there is a connection connection is established and to that connection there we assign a weight weight will represent the priority uh, of that uh, node input node and the output node so this thing is there it in it works by increasing this specialization if the node is get specialized if that node is having a a better skill then obviously that node get selected so it is well suited to find the clusters uh, within the data that is important thing and the algorithm based on the principle of competitive learning includes uh, vector quantization and self organizing map these are the two techniques which is based on the concept of competitive learning now let's see the uh, actual structure or you can say architecture of competitive learning so in case of competitive learning what you have you have input layer you have output layer so there are n number of nodes are there in the input layer and similarly you have n number of nodes in the output layer so uh, what is the speciality of competitive learning network in this case we have input layer and the output layer and all this uh, input layer is connected to the output layers and this here you can see uh, this input uh, node is connected to all the uh, output layer so in this case there should be some weight here every uh, for every edge between the two node there should be certain weight and that weight will represent the priority of that particular input in the output and what is the speciality of competitive learning here you can see that all this not only input layer is connected with all output layer but all output layers are connected with each other this is what a speciality of competitive learning just come back to the same example that we have discussed in the class that all students are connected with each other they are discussing among each other that means there should be a link uh, that they are discussing on particular concept let's say that uh, teacher has taught a particular concept so that concept will be discussed among the two student three student four student miss uh, all these students are connected with each other but still one student can uh, be a topper in the class why because he is taking some extra effort he is referring the different different materials though he is discussing with the other student but still he excel he or she can able to excel in the exam so this is what a architecture of competitive learning where you found that set of nodes present in the input layer and set of node present in the output layer and uh, every input layer is connected with all the output layer just like that every means the teacher is teaching to all student present in the class okay and all the uh, the all the output nodes are connected with each other and all these output node are competing with each other to get excels in the exam in this case uh, we can say that all the output no all the nodes which is present in the output layer uh, compete with each other to gets activated for a particular input let's say input is given so the node is competing with each other to be selected as a output so this is what the architecture of a uh, competitive learning network this is another uh, representation of competitive learning network here you have input layer here we call it as a uh, competitive layer so here set of node is present over here which are competing with each other uh, then again uh, we can say that again uh we discuss more about the architecture uh, we can say that competitive learning is implemented with the help of neural network because in case of neural network we have seen that uh, input layer hidden layer and the output layer uh, we also discuss about the single layer perceptron where there is only input layer and the output layer there is no hidden layer but in case of multi layer perceptron there is a input layer hidden layer and the output layer so it contains a hidden layer which is commonly known as competitive layer okay this is what again uh, important thing to 
know here every competitive neuron is de uh, described by a vector of widths uh, that is wi means in this case what you can say uh, this node uh, let's say x1 he x1 is connected with this o1 so it is connected by means of w w is a weight weight will represent the uh, priority between this two so every competitive neuron is described by a vector of weights and calculates the similarity measure between the input data vector xn because xn is a uh, input that we are providing to all the nodes in the output layer uh, for every input vector competitive neurons compete with each other so as to get activated at the same time so in this case how to uh, how to identify the our winner neuron or uh, uh, let's say the neuron which is uh, which which is got selected uh, or which is activated so in order to represent the winner neuron its output should be one and all other competitive neuron uh, value should be zero so here you can see o of m equals to one means the this uh, value is set for only that neuron uh, who is the winner means in our example uh, here we have three neurons in the output layer so let's say for this neuron suppose its value set as a one that means that neuron is a winner and for the second and third neuron its value is zero that means uh, they are uh, they are not uh, win they are not the winner so this is how winner neuron is represented by uh, setting its value as a one and rest of the other neuron who is not able to get a uh, winner uh, their value is uh, set as a zero so this is how competitive learning works so i hope you understand the concept of competitive learning network it is uh, one of the form of unsupervised learning so thank you very much for attending this video thank you